Yeah. We picked Anything Goes for a few reasons. The first of which was that we hadn't had tapping at Tower Hill since 1987. The second reason was that it's a classic, it's a golden age musical, and we haven't really seen that. We sort of saw that four years ago with West Side Story, um, but West Side Story kind of changed the way of musicals, so we wanted to go a little bit further back than that. And third is that we have a really great group of dancers who have sort of gone through our program for the last four years and we wanted to highlight them this year specifically as they graduate. So those are the top three reasons that we chose anything else. I teach technical theater and design here at Tower Hill School and we're sitting in front of my book when Rachel introduced the idea of doing Anything Goes. I showed her a picture and I said, this is going to be your set. Since this is a heavy dance show, we wanted to be able to bring the dancers downstage center so that they could tap right in the audience's face. We could not put the pit in an enclosed area, so we needed to put them somewhere else and sell them as the orchestra on the boat, which is what we did. So it meant expanding the upstairs significantly and changing the shape of the walls. But to create room, we changed it so that the back walls would curve away from the audience to give us more space upstairs. It's all about hijinks and mistaken identity, but at the core of it, there are a couple of different love stories that are going on that really give it a very genuine heart and soul. Um, and the, the fun of it is kind of layered on top, and it's all done to this beautiful Cole Porter score, a very classic score, and the audience will be tapping their toes right along and humming along at the songs that they know. So. We open Friday, April 17th at 7.30, and then we have a Saturday evening performance, same time, 7.30, at, on April 18th, and then April 19th at 2 o'clock is our closing matinee.